All right, we should be live. Yep, we are. And we're good to go. So, we're going to try to break the game as hard as possible. And to do that, we're going to use the Hiltless because you can get the Hiltless very early on the game. You don't even have to kill anything to get it, just lay it on the ground in 4-2. And the Hiltless is really powerful. And by abusing Soul Duping, you can max it out really easily. And by the time you've done that, you pretty much have your 40 dexterity, and then you can kill everything in the game super easy. So that is the plan. Let's see what happens. And uh, so to get the Hiltless, you have to beat 1-1, obviously. Then 4-1 and 4-2. And 4-1 and 4-2 have ridiculously... Actually, you don't even have to beat 4-2. You have, just have to get near the end of the level. So really, you just have to be able to beat Audicator. So let's get 1-1 one, one out of the way. One one's probably one of the longest levels in the game to beat, honestly. Even though it's the first level. It's a very long level, very complex level. And this first loading screen, oh my god, every time. Whenever you make a new character, this first loading screen for some reason is ridiculous. And I'm not even sure why. Okay. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is just run past all these enemies because I don't really need to kill them. Although I am gonna pick up this grass. So my plan is to just run through the whole level as quick as possible, because I've played this level about five million times. Taking whatever items I kind of want on the way. And I'm actually playing online, which makes the game easier than it normally would, because uh, when you're online, your world tendency shifts to the average of online players, and it's usually typically fairly close to pure white when you do that, which gives enemies less health and damage and stuff. Don't even really need to kill them, but... Why not? Pretty good to be able to two-shot enemies at the start of the game. Or three-shot. I don't even know what the guy was doing. He was even trying to attack me for some reason. And I don't know why there's a... Oh, that message might be... Okay, what a message. Very helpful. So I do want the clingering because I'm probably going to be playing mostly in soul form due to the damage bonus you can get in soul form based on your character tendency. And we want to do a ton of damage, so we're going to want to take advantage of that. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> I 
What is this guy doing? Alright, yeah, you're dead. Turpentine. Gonna want that later. Magic is ridiculously powerful in this game, as you can see. It's one-shotting enemies. Alright, Clingering. So now we have even more HP. So, the next thing I'm going to do is get the Thief Ring, the Scimitar, and then basically just try to finish the level. And then from there, 4-1, get the Crescent Falchion, beat 4-1, go to 4-2, get the Hiltless, jack up our Dexterity, then probably beat 4-3 just to get the souls from it, and then kill Flame Lurker so we can upgrade the Hiltless. Because only the special blacksmith, Ed, in 2-1 can upgrade the Hiltless. Because it is considered a special upgrade. Because he uses colorless demon souls. Alright, so we'll get the scimitar. Slight damage boost. Not by much, but a little bit. Miss our parry. That's fine. And get a ton of your ass. Get hit. It's always good to get hit by enemies for no reason. Almost one shot him there, actually. Because the enemies do take uh, bonus damage, counter damage, whatever word you want to use for it when you hit them during certain actions. I think, like, if they ever get hit during an attack, they take more. Just trying to heal. grass. He, yeah, the game is very liberal with grass. Already got so many. So I'm going to be greedy and try to just run. It's not too hard, but uh, the, wor the thing that sucks about it is if you die here, you basically have to do the whole level over again, because the checkpoint is right at the end of... Th oh, that was bad. I might die. No, no, we're good. Yeah, that's not too hard. But there is a... Oh, I hit by his tail. There is a big punishment for dying there. Now it's pretty... Fu now it's fine. If we die now, it doesn't matter because we can go right to the boss. In fact, I think if you're speedrunning, I think dying is actually faster. I'm not sure. Then again, you... Well, I'm not... I, I think dying is faster. I want to see if I can make that jump. Oh. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, that's a perfectly fine death, because now we can fight the boss. And I didn't need anything else in the level. So we want fire bombs and turpentine.
You can also abuse Solero and it makes this boss a lot easier too. Or just being patient if you're out of all those options. How? Got sniped? Oh my god. Getting hit all over the place. There we go. Wait, what? It only hit one there? Well, okay, yeah, the AoE is weird on this. <laughs> Like sometimes, I think if it hits Phalanx himself, it like spreads more or something. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, that ought to do it. All right, one one's done. So now we're gonna go right to. 4-1. Gotta talk to the Monumental first, and then I'm probably gonna level up as much as I can, because we're gonna get the requirements for the Hiltless out of the way. So we're gonna get 12 Strength to 2 Hand I uh, the Hiltless, and then as much Dex as we can for damage. And that's pretty much all we care about right now in terms of stats. So that's done. Now to go to 4 1 and get the Crescent Felshin, kill Audricator, then go through 4 2. Hey, did I just die? Well, that's fine. Actually, I just lost those souls. You know, what? don't care. It's only 2,600 because <laughs> I'm lazy. And I'll just pop the. Actually, yeah. It's the only one I have. What? Yes. Uh, so we want of the mind. 12 strength Ether. and the rest index. Oh, I don't even have enough. Well, that's fine. Stuff I don't need. That should be good. Don't need turpentine either. Just in case stuff breaks. Okay, 4 1. Easy, short level, gives you a good weapon and a lot of souls. So, always a good level to do early on. Come on, PS3, you can load this level. I believe in you. Alright. So, we actually going to use our fist. Because the fist uh, do a surprisingly large amount of damage to skeletons. Because of the blunt damage. Well, bammo. Uppercut. Come on, skeleton. Let's go. Yeah, that works. I 
think it's amazing how ridiculously long, slow that uppercut is, and yet it still can be used in certain situations. You want to attack? Yeah, here we go. He just rolled right up that hill. Oh, soul remains. Good item. Gonna want that for later. Oh, darn. Well, can't win them all. Oh, no. I might aggro the other one. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, sure. Whatever. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Again. Well, whatever. Alright, so I do want the Talisman of God. It's up here. Because that is tradable for a colorless demon soul, which we need for the Hiltless later. So we got that out of the way. Now to get the Crescent Falchion. And there's more soul remains over here that we actually want. Pretty easy to get past him. That attack. It's a lot of wind up. And Crescent Falchion. Whoop. There we go. Try that again. Oh my god, again. Thank you. Finally. Okay, so now we're going to do a skip. Skips the whole level. Then we will be ready for Adjucator. Probably the easiest boss in the game. Write more messages. Alright, so I don't care about this gecko. Oh, he didn't do the leap attack. And that came extremely close to hitting me. What are you attacking? I'm not even over there. Oh my god, could I hit his weak spot? Alright, there we go. Might be able to do it in two cycles. Wow, that frame rate. That was my PS3, not the stream. Alright, cool. Alright, so that's 4 1. Now we will level up real quick. Then we'll do 4 2 and get the Hillless. Easy peasy. And I don't care about this or that. So we need 12 strength and the rest in decks. Alright, so we already got 30 decks. Pretty good. Deposit stuff we don't need. And repair.
Um, cling ring is no use to us right now. Okay, so we're ready to do four two. Get the helpless, kill our old hero. believe this is Emphorlies. Yep. More soul remains, which we might need. Oh my god, why is that all these loading screens taking so long? Okay. Oh god. Alright, so I might as well save her bane just in case I want second chance. Because second chance is basically breaking the game in of itself. Just having that ability. I'm gonna try a chain backstab. There we go. Yeah, yeah, NPC enemies are not too tough in Demon Souls. Oh, he's fighting. Alright. Yeah, not too tough. Alright, so Urbane is saved. Now to continue with 4 2 to get the Hiltless. More souls. I'm gonna talk to Patches. I think you need to talk to him to get, have him go to the Nexus. I'm not sure. But I do want him there because he's a really good merchant, sells a lot of good items. Equip Thief Ring, re equip Thief Ring, and there we go. Try to clip through the fog wall, and it wasn't happening. All right, backup strats. That HP <laughs> calculated. Okay. Don't know why I picked up that dagger. Alright. So we're almost to getting the hiltless. We're going to be using soul remains for this part, make it a lot easier. There we go. So the hillless is in this room. Just don't remember. I think it's in that cave. Just get that out of the way. <laughs> Now 
guess I'll use soul arrow. Snipe these guys from afar. Wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They're very magic resistant. In that case, let's just throw soul remains. And then uh, get body blocked and probably die. Okay, cool. Got it. So now I just gotta find the path back up. And I'm not finding it. <laughs> so now I'm just wandering around, which is always good. Oh, I'm dead. Oh! Oh! Kinda nudging him. Yeah, I went around in a circle. It's always good. There we go. Okay. So, let's see what the hiltless damage is at right now. Oh yeah, I have to be two-handing it. 206. Much better than the falchion. Because we already have 30 decks. And that should be all we need. So the easiest, well, I already said Objugator is the easiest boss in the game, but we'll say this is a close runner-up. At least my damage is a lot better than it is when I normally fight him. In Soul Level 1, this guy takes forever just because he's tanky, and it is annoying. That's the whole boss. So you probably see my life going down. It's because the hiltless, you lose a little bit of HP every time you hit an enemy. But I also have the regenerator ring, so it's kind of counterbalancing it. So it doesn't really matter too much. Let's take these while I'm here. Oh, whoops. I kind of trapped myself. That didn't matter. He didn't even try to chase me. There we go. Hardest boss in video game history is defeated. So I'm just gonna go right into Storm King. I probably shouldn't, but just wanna get the souls. Because it'd be really stupid if I somehow died. But let's risk it. Who cares? Easy boss. Alright, got the Storm Ruler.
Another very easy boss. We got two for one. I'll take that. How the hell did I hit that one? Well, I'm not going to complain. Here he comes. What? No. Oh, nice try. Yeah, not the hardest boss in the world, that's for sure. It's a sad message right there, right next to the dead guy. Man, hit me in the feels. Damn it, I'm probably gonna need another pass. Yep, I probably won't be able to hit him again. Maybe. Yes, okay, cool. So that's world four. Out of the way. Should be able to get to 40 decks now. Don't know why I even picked that up, but whatever. And that message means we can now do the uh, 1, 3, and 1, 4 if we wanted to. The whole door that locks it is now deactivated. See, the only soul I want to keep is old heroes, because that is what you need for second chance. That attack power. Yep. I went way overboard on that, but I don't care. <laughs> Didn't even need those like last two levels. Okay. All right, so need to do. World 2, because World 2 is necessary to get Flame Lurker Soul, which you need to upgrade this weapon. So we're going to do that right now. Should do pretty good damage. Yeah, 228 attack rating. Yeah, how much dexterity do we have? 50, 52. <laughs>
So there's sticky white stuff over here that we want. Because we're going to use that as a buff until we can get light weapon much later in the game. Yeah, I'm kind of being reckless here because our damage is so high. Like I can just kill things so fast. There he is. Oh, that R2. Yeah, this weapon's pretty strong, and you gotta realize it's not even upgraded yet. You can go up to plus five, so once we do that, it's gonna be ridiculous. So while we're here, we definitely need to get access to the blacksmith we need. So we're going to do that now. That's right over here. Alright, so that's a checkpoint and the blacksmith opened up. Man, I forgot how much gra uh, grass this level throws at you. I'm getting a ton. I don't even really need it. I get 12 crescent, 22 half moon, and I got a bunch of various other ones, I think. 2 late moon, 5 full moon. Yeah. You get a ton of healing items. And, y and you can farm them, too, once you beat 1-1. One one, so you could have way more than this if you wanted. I just saw a dog, like outside the level it looked like more grass it's always good all right so the level is effectively beaten now just to go to the boss Oh, I almost just died. But we're okay. I 
I'm not going to bother healing because Regenerator Ring is doing its thing. Alright, time for Armored Spider. A fun boss, but an easy one. Oh, that damage is serious. Oh my goodness. I'm not using the sticky white stuff because I'm saving that for Flame Lurker. So I'm not too worried about this guy. Jesus, he got melted. Alright, so I'm going to go to the Nexus and see if I can get enough uh, levels for second chance. And going to the Nexus actually will make Flame Lurker easier because it will update the world tendency, which just got lighter because we beat a boss, and I'm pretty sure that will give him less HP. I think. I could be wrong about that. Because uh, there's still a lot of details about world tendency and stuff that aren't fully fleshed out. Like, even on, like, wikis and stuff, there's still a lot of information about that that isn't really laid out very clearly. Okay, I don't even have close to enough. <laughs> I don't even think I get another level. Actually, maybe. Yeah, not even close. Nope. Well, we'll at least uh, learn the spell. God. Okay. So we don't need soul remains there, we'll put that to sticky white stuff. Don't need those, we'll put full moon grass there. And that should be what we need. So I guess we'll just try this. Shouldn't be too bad, because with sticky white stuff our damage should be really good. If I remember right, flame lurker is actually weak to magic. And our base damage is already pretty good. And with the thief ring you can get a few gimmicky free hits on, on him at the start. See what happens. Thinking it won't be too bad. Whoops. Ah, oh, almost made it on there. All right, let's do this. All right, so let's see how much damage we can get at the start. Oh my god, okay. 
pretty good. That's always annoying. A hop. Oh, I can punish that pretty quickly. Pretty efficiently with that. that the running attack for Katanas has always been ridiculously... Wow, that was dumb. <laughs> Alright, but we got good heals. But yeah, r the running attack for the Katanas has always been good. Even all the way back to Demon Souls. Oh, he's kind of getting melted. Yeah, he got... Okay, that was not hard at all. <laughs> this weapon... Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Alright, we still, probably still don't have enough to get second chance. I shouldn't have gotten those like two wasted levels in dexterity, but that's fine. Yeah, I need a tiny bit more. Okay. Alright, so we get a trade that talisman of God soon, so we're going to need the other talisman of God anyway, which I can get from 5-1. So I guess we'll just do that now. And hope we don't die. But our damage is pretty absurd, so it should be fine. That was actually ridiculous how fast Flame Lurker died. So here, we need to get the other Talisman of God because we're trading one for the close demon soul that we're going to dupe, and the other one we're going to need to cast second chance. And then we're basically good to go. And then pretty much the only thing else I'm going to probably level up is magic to eventually cast light weapon to make our damage even higher. We're just one-shotting everything, which is always good. And there it is. Didn't even mean the backstab, but it worked out. Pretty strong weapon. Pretty strong. Wow, he tagged super early. Oh god. Well, that was dumb. I love not being able to see. Okay, that somehow worked out. Yeah, when you one-shot everything, it tends to make the game easier. Who would have thought? Oh, 
Oh, you jerk. Not to worry. All right. Lure him out. Wow, even do ridiculous damage to him. Oh, he dropped the Great Club. Cool. Not that big a deal, though, because you can get one in 2-1 if I remember right. Oh, hi. Easy, easy. Now, fighting this guy in this bridge is a horrible idea, but it's really not that hard if you do, you know, enough damage to kill the guy in like four hits. You just gotta be a little more careful with your dodging, because you gotta, be, you know, you can't just run behind him in that spot. All right, so just in case, I'll put some full moon grass there. I'm not too worried about this. Should do a ton of damage. Yep. And I don't know why he attacked there. Wow, I think that's like the first time ever I fought Leechmonger and didn't get hit. Because usually I just trade hits with him because he doesn't do that much damage. You can just kill him. But yeah, well, then, it, well, in a lot of my soul level 1 challenges, I beat him without getting hit. I guess in a normal playthrough, that doesn't normally happen. Alright, so now we should be able to get second chance and upgrade. Our weapon to plus five. Cool, got it. Now we need to get the colorless demon soul from 4 1. Alright. This world's in pure white, that's why I said Suki's there. You over there. You seem to have your head about you. Come here. Come on, skeleton. Let's go. Oh, 
Wow, these skeletons do not want to aggro. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> he was just attacking. He didn't give a shit. Okay. Well, I guess now that I'm here, might as well kill Vanguard for the souls. Because I should be able to kill him really fast. Yep, he's already halfway dead. I swear this vanguard does that attack more often, which makes it even easier. Yep, that was pretty easy. Ow, and as I say, they get shot. Only a thousand souls for the kill, wow. But at least you get his soul itself, which it gives you more than that, I think. Weird that the trap doesn't activate that. Oh god. I kinda got lucky there. Bleed's pretty serious considering it's still eating through despite the re regenerator drain. Alright, so we made it. Talisman of God. We'll reload. And we should get a colorless demon soul. Should. Because I've had this mess up before for some reason. I don't know, it's kind of wonky. There we go. I'm still bleeding. Finally. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. So now we'll dupe that and then go to to one and upgrade this to max. I know, Satsuki, I know you already like, dude, relax. Alright, so we should be good to go.
We gotta give him flame worker's soul. Yeah, because right now it won't do it. There we go. Yeah, I hope I have enough souls to upgrade it. Oh my goodness. Don't need either of these. There we go. So what is our damage? 352. Not bad. Unbuffed. Because this weapon can be buffed. And that's what we're going to work on now. So in the meantime, let is, let's do World 5. Because it's another level, another set of levels with easy bosses. should be good to go. Yep. So now we should do pretty absurd damage. 52 decks, maxed out hitless. Yep. Doesn't it scale with strength too? Yeah, but only an E. I guess I'll see how much it goes up by. Probably not worth investing. Still one shotting. Really not much to say about this level. Very easy, pretty, pretty simple level. Not really much going on. The only thing is I'm going to be stupid and fight Dirty Colossus without getting the shortcut. He's a really easy boss, but stupid stuff can always happen. And it'd be really dumb to die and have to do the whole level over where I could get a shortcut that avoids that. But let's risk it.
Oh god. Oh, this was even the right way. Whoops. Well then. My bad. Or at least the poison ran out. And I'll probably get poisoned again. Okay, whatever. I don't need to kill you. Ow. All right, let's see what happens here. Probably something stupid will happen and I'll die. That damage cannot be denied. My goodness. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll fight Garl now. Oh my god, that damage. Holy shit. Well then. <laughs> So now we'll see if raising strength is all that beneficial for this weapon. I have a feeling it's not. Yeah, the attack power is going up. Wait, the same amount as the dexterity. Drawn from its vessel. More dexterity? Okay, now that's not going up anymore. Alright, neither one of them are. Okay. Magic. For light weapon. So I guess now, do 3-1 to save Freak. Don't think I even need that. Don't need that anymore. Wait, I never killed Dragon God. Well, I can do that later.
Oh, hi. And then just one shot him. That's always good. Gonna want that fresh spice for later if I ever want to reapply second chance. Of course, I didn't count. Hit the wall that he's right next to. Just kicked his body like a soccer ball. Really, uh, really boring level on replays, honestly. There's just so little actually happening. Very few enemies, very few obstacles. Oh, he just stood there and died. I wonder if I can just run up and dash attack him. Yep. Before his attack even came out. Dodge it. Alright, so let's see if we can get this skip. There we go. Not too hard to do. Alright, so we got the key for Freak. 
I'm going to be going back for it now. And then killing the boss. Yeah, shoot at me. Take that. I hate this NPC. <laughs> You're wrecked. Alright, Freak, coming for you. A lot of souls here. Cool kill fool's idol. That worked out somehow. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Might as well use sticky white stuff because there's not going to be that many more times in the game where I'll need it. Oh, that's damage. Okay. <laughs> Tough boss. Alright, so I guess we'll get our stats ready to use magic weapon, get two spell slots, get more magic, kill dragon god, then do one two and one three to get light weapon, 
and we'll be good to go. I have enough spell slots. The soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Need one more level to get that. Dragon Guide should give me more than enough to do it. This means world two, four, and five will be finished, and three one, only leaving three two, three three in the rest of world one. Not too shabby. Second chance should make this easy. Easier than I thought. Poor Dragon God. He was set up to fail from day one. Never had a real shot. And that's Dragon God. Pretty easy boss. Is his arm normally like that? Looks weird. I know, he always looks weird. Oh my god, that damage. Alright. So now we'll be able to get to uh, equip light weapon. Just need to get it from Pen uh, Penetrator Soul. I think I'll have enough to level even if I do this. Oh wow, that gives more than I thought. Magic. So, 
really not much left to do besides Tower Knight. And then Penetrator to get Light Weapon, and then Man Eaters and Allant. Oh, whoops. Oh yeah, I don't even need the Silver Catalyst for that anymore. Silver Catalyst gives a higher max MP, but we have natural... Actually, I think the Silver Coronet is still needed to get us over 100, but yeah, we don't need the Silver Catalyst though. I don't want that. Ooh, late in the grass, I'll take that. Alright, so... Actually not going to use sticky white stuff because I'm going to use that on Penetrator. That damage. Ooh, he got me. Oh, hit him in the crotch. How? Interrupted. Got him. Oh, none of them fell. It's unfortunate. Should be able to get some more magic. Not that it really matters, but why not? Oh, that wasn't that much. I think it'll be just enough to squeeze out another level. Yeah, I think that's enough. Not even close. Actually, that's not enough either. Oh, okay, it is. Oh. Alright, cool. Time for Penetrator. And then we will get Light Weapon. Then, probably do Man Eaters.
And we should do pretty absurd damage. Oh my god, that dog tore me up. Oh my god. I attacked twice, missed twice. There we go. Alright, so we're eating a ton of grass, which is always good. One more time stream on YouTube. Only on Twitch. Although I do upload all the archives to YouTube, so it'll be there soon. So this weapon is ridiculously good. As you can tell, I'm one-shotting even these really strong enemies. Because Demon Souls is pretty stupid when it comes to weapon damage. Like, some weapons are just ridiculous. Or you, the enemy could block you and you could get hit a million times. That could also happen. Yeah, or I could just die. That's, that's another thing that could happen in the game. All right, there we go. <laughs> so the ninja up here. Ninjas, these assassin ninja characters have like a ton of life. Let's see what happens here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> they actually do have a ton of life, trust me. I'm gonna do something really stupid and not get the shortcut and just assume that I'll beat Penetrator. Probably not a good idea, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so we're gonna put full moon grass there. And we're gonna be using sticky white stuff for our buff. And that should be all we need. And hopefully, I don't get destroyed by these Red Knight Spearmen on the way. Alright, there we go. So it'd be really dumb to die right now, considering I didn't get the shortcut. And that's very likely to happen. Because when you don't get the shortcut, your chances of dying generally go up by about 3,000%. Scientifically proven to be 3,000%. Oh, it stunlocked him right out of that. Oh my god, that damage though. I'm just gonna keep attacking. 
don't even care. Okay, I should care. Second chance cracked. Okay, we're good. I tempted fate so hard, but it did not matter. Alright, so now we'll get light weapon, so we'll do even more damage. And then we'll do man eaters, and then Alan, and then the game is over. Yes, teach me. Bring me. Oh wait, I gotta put my catalyst in the other hand. There we go. More magic. Alright, that should be good. Alright, so... Man Eater's time. Well, I gotta do, uh... Three, two, first, but shouldn't be too bad. Level can be kind of tricky near the end before the shortcut. It's actually the only shortcut that's mandatory now that I think about it because it blocks away the boss. I will say though the atmosphere of this level is incredible even if the level isn't doesn't exactly hold up in terms of gameplay and repeated playthroughs just because there's not a lot exactly going on but it still looks and sounds beautiful like hearing the gargoyles creak and the droning music it's definitely creepy as hell Perfect elevator timing. I like that. Oh my god, that gargoyle got up here? That doesn't happen very often. Is he really going to do that? Oh, you jerk. Oh, I almost just died. Almost fell. Are you serious? Get out of here. Really? And then he just leaves. Seriously.
The only thing annoying about these guys is that some weapons have trouble hitting them. They're so low to the ground. Whoa, okay. Did I just one-shot him? Wow, because they have a lot of life too. The little ones, that's not too surprising, but the big ones, that's kind of crazy. Especially with such a fast weapon. Yeah, that's straight up one-shotting them. Alright. <laughs> Works for me. Yep, the attack missed them completely. Oh my god, I almost one-shot him! The BP enemies have tons of HP. That's absolutely ridiculous that it almost one-shot him. I did not realize it was this weapon was that strong. I knew it was strong, but that's kind of OD. And like, just to clarify, this is like, you could get this on a completely normal playthrough. I didn't dupe souls or anything like that. The only thing I duped was the Color of Demon Souls to upgrade it, but you can do that on a casual playthrough. You can get the five you need. You can get two from trading, and then you can get five from uh, the Pure Black World Tendency events, and you can get one in 1-1 one, one at the bottom of uh, Meralda's area. So you can get, uh, so that's eight per playthrough. So getting the five needed... To fully upgrade it isn't that hard, even in normal circumstances, it's just time consuming. So you could definitely do everything here just in a completely casual playthrough. So yeah, the damage is... While it may be absurd, it is totally legit. You can get that damage. Alright, so the level is now effectively beaten. Now just to fight the man eaters. And while I do do a lot of damage, I gotta be careful. There's always the cliffs and the man eater boss. Gravity can always get you. Doesn't matter how good you get at souls, gravity will always be the the great equalizer. Oh wait, something else dropped. They don't drop things very often. Ah, chunk of murky stone. We need perfectly turned around. More spice.
All right, so we're going to cast Light Weapon and just go ahead and see how fast we can kill that man eater. Actually, let's have Full Moon. Shouldn't need to spice any more after we cast that. Yeah, because I can definitely cast it again. All right, see what happens here. It's damage. Oh, great opening. Oh my god. Okay then. <laughs> Jesus. Oh god. Oh, it was way too early. That is a uh... What the heck are you doing? Are you serious? Get over here. Just die. Oh my god. <laughs> Demon Souls is the hardest video game ever made. Ever. Dear lord. My goodness. Wait, is that another player? Did that actually happen? Because the cutscene seemed like it was at a regular time. And I am online. Did that actually... And I can't skip it. It could be another player? Is that possible? It would be cool. Because I haven't seen anyone else playing this game in a long time. Is there, is there somebody out here just waiting to do this? That would be amazing. You know, I probably just got excited. It's probably not. Because sometimes it won't let you skip it, even if it's the NPC. It's probably the NPC. I'm just getting myself excited. Gonna get, gonna set myself up for disappointment. Yeah, that's the NPC. Nobody plays this game anymore. I will buy. I will bet five Twitch shekels that that is a NPC. And the game is just wasting my time by not letting me skip it. I knew it. <laughs> Couldn't trick me, Demon Souls. I knew it wasn't a player. Wow, they have a lot more health in this one section for some reason. They have like 50% more HP. The staircase actually makes these guys easier to fight. Alright, time for Old Monk. Should be super easy. Actually, I kind of want to parry him. Just to see the damage. <laughs> 50%! Welcome to America! Ah, oh, damn. Orbs. Oh, I'm gonna die. Look at him, he's just punching. Oh, that changes the timing. No setup parry here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, his orbs went away too. Execution! <laughs> Three hits. Three hits. Well, just old King Allen left.
I don't even need that soul. Burn it. Oh, that was a lot. Soul of the mind, key to life. I can get another level. Alright, not bad at all. So we got 28 magic. What level are we? 69. Alright. Time for the last level. 1-4. So, Alan is by far the most tanky, like, mandatory enemy in the game. And he's fairly magic resistant, so... I shouldn't be able to just kill him, like, in two seconds, like I have with some of these enemies. At least I don't think so. Down my way. Oh, get Wombo count. Or I will run out of stamina and almost die. That's a thing that could also happen. Alright. He dropped six full moon grass. That's crazy. It's a lot. That's like six full heals. Oh, that was close. I am tempting fate. Oh god. Alright. I don't even know why I did that. But I did it. Alright, Estrava, let's go. Let's have a legit fight. Ooh, nice block. Nice block. Oh, wow. He, like, hyper-armored right through my attack. Oh, God. Okay, you switched to two hands. That was a mistake. Alright, so I'm going to take that rune shieldy drop and put it in my offhand just because it gives passive, a ton of passive, uh, passive magic defense. Which is obviously good against Alan because he does magic damage. The longest of elevators. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm going to take those free hits. Not above that. Okay, that's still actually pretty ridiculously good. Okay. Oh, you dick. You dick. He hit me with the okie doke. Oh, do I have enough time for an R2? Yes! <laughs> that was so dumb. All right, we're not gonna do that again. All right, we'll just kill him. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this weapon's pretty good. Pretty good. You know what? If people are like, "Oh, I want to use katanas, but I don't want to get a fear blade son. Just use the helpless. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty effective. Wait, what? Wait, what? How do I have the rune shield equipped when you can clearly see in the bottom of the screen I have the buckler? What the f- What? Wait, what? The fuck? What the fuck did I just do? How, what? what? Oh, thank you, Dark Souls. Did you see that? What just happened to my shield? What the hell was that about? That was so weird. But yes, Demon Souls needs some love. Doesn't get a lot of play these days. Yeah, that was a weird bug. I've never, I've never seen that bug, and I've played this game for like, or I've played it way too much, and I've never seen that. I've played it more than I'm. A, I'm kind of ashamed of how much I played this game, more than any one person probably should. So I guess I'll do New Game Plus to further test this weapon because. It's been pretty good so far. Maybe I'll just run through World 1 real fast on New Game Plus. Fight Alan again. Maybe my character was just trying to show a magic trick with that shield. It's like I put my shield behind my back, it disappears. I take it back out again and it's a different shield. Surely you have seen for yourself. Pain, suffering that fills this world. The faith poison that poisons the world. Created the old one. He didn't even get to finish the speech. It's unfortunate. No one wishes to go on. Alright, so, new game plus. I did it. I did it. I usually don't, but I did it. Uh, cutscene. Yeah, okay. It took a while. Alright. So we'll get the Beast Demon Soul, which will give us, I think it's 20,000 souls. 
It's the only reason I did that. No, I'm not going to use the Northern Regale. I think I'm just going to keep using the Hiltless because I can keep raising my magic more to make the light weapon combo even stronger. Because I've already invested into... I have like 50-something dexterity. 56 dexterity. Because the damage kept going up, and I was like, why not? So I guess we'll just go right into 1-1. One, one. Yeah, the Hillless is quite good. Very, very strong. I don't say I would suggest people use it because if you really just don't like farming for the pure blade zone because of how annoying that is, the hiltless is a great alternative because it's you know it functions just like a lot of the other katanas, and you don't have to worry about that. It upgrades with colors, demon souls instead. Wait, I think it's in pure white, so I could... Yeah, I could kill... Ow. I could kill BP Meralda while I'm here. It's even one-shotting these guys. Pretty sure they have a decent amount of life. Oh, it didn't kill him. Oh my god, that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> okay, I felt that. Okay, my frame rate on my PS3 is like dying. I don't know why. Okay, what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> that is not my stream. That is my game. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, I need more MP. Oh my god. What the fuck? I swear this is the PS3 version too. Oh my god, this isn't like some emulator nonsense. Maybe I have officially played the game too much. Wait, that was- oh yeah, duh. That's not BP Meralda, we're in pure white. Well, you know what? I murdered her. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I think my PS3 is dying, which would suck because that would actually be my second PS3 because I had one at launch way back in like 2008 or whatever, and that eventually died after like seven years or something. So this is uh, one I got a few years back, and now it's it's like on its last legs. Okay, no sound effect on that. Cool. All right. <laughs> Oh god. Is there a helicopter in my PS3? Oh my god. What? Where did he come from? I'm actually getting very confused. Well. It's a new, you know what? It's a new challenge for Demon Souls. There's no telling what could happen now. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna get to like five frames per second or something. And then it'll be really hard to react. Wait, that. Yeah, this table is already broken. Yeah, weird shit is happening. 
Definitely. Oh god. Wait, did it just fix itself? Was it only that area? That's so weird. Did it have something to do with like the pure white world tendency event or something? I am so confused. That death glitch though, yep. Yeah. Oh. oh wait, it's happening again. God damn it. I thought I was free. I was wrong. Yep, it's happening again. Don't trust the Torch Hallows. Never. I didn't even try to parry him. I'm like, it's not going to happen right now. Okay. What the fuck? You know what? Just because I want to tempt fate. Go down there, Strava. Fight for my amusement. Prove your worth to me. Oh my god, his dialogue was so delayed. What is he doing? Alright, yes, fight a str Oh, he's gonna lose. He's gonna lose. Oh! Oh! You got this, Estrava. Don't roll into the fire. Don't. Yes, back away. He pulled through. Make the Northern Gala, probably eventually. I might just like go through the game a bunch of times on this character. I definitely could. It is one of my most used weapons. I use it all the time in Soul Level 1. Which is what I normally do. But right now is like, let's test out the Hiltless. Let's see how good it is. And it's... The results of that are the Hiltless is stupid good. And Ostrava totally just like cool guy walked away from that firebomb explosion. Ostrava is so gonna die, I swear. Boom! <laughs> Ow. Well, I have the key, and then I could make the Northern Regala. Strava got dunked on. I had to do it. <laughs> Yeah, can we get Bible thumps, Bible thumps in the chat for Strava? Oh my god, that frame rate. Holy shit. I actually like Estrava as a character, but he has that key, so sometimes he has to die. Poor Estrava. It had to happen to him. It was, a, it was a necessary sacrifice. Oh my god, what am I doing? I shouldn't even try to parry right now. The frame rate is like... at like 7. Oh shit, it's not even killing them. Oh, okay, it, it barely did. The 
just gonna run for it. Screw it. Oh shit. Oh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. <gasps> oh! Yeah, calculated. Nothing to worry about. That was actually so dumb, because I have all these souls. Yeah, unfortunately, PS3s are still kind of expensive. Like, I think you can get one for, I want to say, like, 150 or so nowadays. But it, it wasn't until fairly recently for that to finally come down a bit in price. I think it's be just because, like, the cell processor, it's... Pro cell processor itself is just kind of an expensive piece of equipment, so like they're never going to be able to get it like super cheap. I don't think. I think that's the problem. I, I don't. I could be wrong about that. I'm not like a technical expert by any means, but I, from what I was told, that's kind of the reason why. Because it isn't like a cell processor or something that like is made all the time. It was kind of like a specialty thing. Where like the PS4, you know, uses standard PC architecture, it's going to drop in price a lot faster. Relatively speaking. It would be cool if there was a, a Demon's Souls remake, but it still hasn't happened, unfortunately. I'm surprised they haven't just ported it to PS4 or something. It's... One of the PS3's most, you know, fondly remembered games. Oh my god, I can't hear it. There's no sound. What is happening? What is happening? How, oh, I lost all my health. I don't even... Okay. What the fuck? Oh god. I, what? Wait, what? How did I just get hit like seven times? What is going on? Am I... What? Wait, is there like a million of them? What is going on here? What is happening? Wh D Demon Souls hard mode is like unlocked? Oh, they... Only in Japan? I didn't know that. That's stupid. So... <laughs> this is the hardest Phalanx fight ever, I think. You gotta be prepared for this. Okay, we got this. Oh, the music kicked in. Look at that. And now there's like none of the mini phalanxes around. All right, cool. I swear there was way more hoplites than there usually is. That was weird. That's very weird to me too that they only remaster it in Japan because from what I understand the game actually Demon Souls actually did a lot better in America and Europe than it did in Japan that's what I remember so it seems very strange that they would do it that way yeah they did remake Dark Souls too that's a good point honestly just my opinion I think Demon uh, Dark Souls 1 would be the most logical Souls game to remaster because they could, like, redo, like, the whole second half of the game. Like, completely redo Izalith, Beta Chaos, Crystal Caves, revamp the Nito and Seath boss fights. I think there's a lot of... Like, Dark Souls 1's a good game, but it also has a lot of room for improvement in certain areas. So that would be cool if they ever did that. Demon Souls also could be improved a lot, too. 
like I'd love to see that broken art stone remade because they did w put some work on it. Art stone over here. This was originally going to be in the game. There, there, uh, a few people did data mine uh, demon souls, and they found a lot of the content was like half made for that. Be cool to see it fully done. Yeah, Ash Lake would be cool. It'd be cool if there was like some actual like new enemies in Ash Lake, and it was. You know, some more content to it, as opposed to just kind of like a barren area. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff they could do to, to update the older games. Because they have, you know, obviously they had a much better budget by the time they got the like Blood, Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. Where with Demon, Demon Souls was definitely, they did a good job on it, but it was definitely more low budget title. They couldn't just do whatever they wanted to do. In the distant path. But then again, from software, they're probably just going to make something totally new, and it'll be awesome. So that's always good. Whatever their next next project will be. So I guess I'm just going to level magic a ton to make a uh, light weapon even more powerful. Beast Demon Soul. 200,000 souls. Wait, I'll keep False Kings just in case I want to make Northern Gala. It better be like a Souls game. They said that they're working on three different games. And while they didn't flat out say one of them was going to be a Souls-like game, they pretty much said yes. They said it was going to be like a dark medieval action RPG game. And, you know, that sounds a lot like the next Souls successor. So... I'm pretty confident there will be a new, a new, uh, you know, an, uh, a new f spiritual successor to the franchise. So that's pretty cool. And I mean, I love Bloodborne, so if they're gonna do something, they're gonna make like another game like Bloodborne where it's its own thing. I'm all for that. Demon Souls 2. I have a feeling Demon Souls 2 is probably never going to happen. That's just my hunch. I think the main reason why I think that is because I'm, I get the feeling that going forward, from software is gonna work. They're gonna want to work on their own. They're gonna they're gonna prefer to have more freedom because obviously if they work with, because the Demon Souls IP is owned partly by Sony. So if they want to do that, they'd have to, you know, certain rights of the game would be owned by Sony. It has to be a PS, a PlayStation exclusive. I'm getting the feeling going forward from software is probably going to want more freedom on their projects and just be able to do whatever they want to do. Demon Souls best game on PS3, Bloodborne, PS4. I definitely agree Bloodborne is the best. Like I th I I am just I just love Bloodborne. Like it's like one of my favorite games of all time. As far as like best overall like I like Demon's Souls a lot, as you can see me playing it, but I have to admit, like, the newer games did improve a lot on it. Even though I still like the game, I, I, would, I can criticize Demon's Souls a lot for some of the things that I don't think are great, but I, I still think it's a great game. Obviously, I wouldn't be playing it so much if I didn't, but when I think about it, it's like, Dark Souls 1 does have, like, a lot better enemy design and boss battles. Like, oh my god. Like, right off the top of my head, you have Artorias, Manus, Calamite. You have Simone Ornstein. You have a lot of really good boss battles. Demon Souls would have been better, I think. Wow, I just saw the whole level load up. Uh, Demon Souls could have used a lot more, a lot better enemy design, I'd say. Better have Dragon Form. You know, I mean, I have a, I have a feeling the next whatever it is, next Souls like game, it might, I, like I could see it being medieval, but in a totally different fashion, kind of like Bloodborne. Like you were, there might not even be dragons or anything like that, or maybe it'll be a return to like the Kingsfield style. Who knows? Because when I think about Demon Souls, like, what it's good at is, like, the world... I love the... Wow, that frame rate. Oh, my God. The world that they created is awesome. But then I think, like, 
the game would be so much better with more like fleshed out bosses because I think I like Audicator and Old Hero and I'm like yeah they these bosses could be so much like the design and the concept behind them is good but they needed to be fleshed out more like Old Hero could have been a really cool idea for a boss if it had like more mechanics to it but that's just my opinion Okay, the level is clearly not loaded there. What the hell? What? 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 Oh, God. What the hell is this? Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know what to say. My PS3 must be dying. As we speak, it is there is a fire burning inside that cell processor. <laughs> Everything is fine. PS3 is dying. There is a burning fire inside that cell processor as we speak. Literally destroying it. Alright, I have a weird theory why what might be causing this. It makes no sense, but it's the only thing I can think of. This, I'm playing online for the first time in a long time, and people did tell me that the servers were acting really weird. I know it makes no sense that that could be the cause of it, but I have no idea what else it could be. Or my PS3 is just dying. That, that could be the more likely thing. So I'm going to have to clip that, I think, <laughs> where I saw Tower Knight levitating in the ether. Oh, God. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Oh, I saw those bodies pop in. That's cool. Oh, God. I was so distracted by the level that I forgot that there's a dragon. <laughs> I played this game a million times and I forgot. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? The... I have too much insight. That's, is that what it is, Truth of Service? I have too much insight? <laughs> I'm seeing... <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, okay, I've literally never, ever seen that, ever, in my thousands of hours of playing this game. And I'm hoping I won't see it again, because... That would make the level unbeatable. So, let's hope... I don't even know what to say about this. The wor the the level itself literally didn't exist. Oh god. Well All right, we're good, right? That's Let's go. Oh, I'm so scared. What? Are you serious? Are you serious? So, like, can I never play Demon Souls again? Is that it? Is it over? Has Miyazaki decided that I've played this game actually too much? And then this is where it ends? <laughs> I. This is ridiculous. That's consistently happening now. Because it's happening through loading screens. So it's loading the same way. Okay, I'm going to hit the PS menu just to show that this is the PS3 version. This isn't me fucking around. Like, Alright, now the PS menu is taking forever to come up. Uh, 
PlayStation menu? Okay, it's actually my PS3. Okay, confirmed. My PS3 is is dying. Um PS3? Can can you hear me? Um Hello? PS PS3? Okay, maybe hitting the PS button was Okay, see, all right. So there there see there's the this is the PS3 version. There's the PlayStation menu. It just is uh loading really slow. So we'll close that. I hit all right, I'm trying to close it. Uh-huh. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I, that was a mistake. Should not have hit that button. My God. Boom. Yeah, my PS3 is going to explode. <laughs> okay. Good. Two shades of the sort. I'm trying to break Demon Souls. It is actually broken. Yeah, I think my my PS3 might be a health hazard at this point. I should probably move away from it before I die from a f an explosion in my house. Oh, oh wait, I can still move the. All right, so I'm closing the PS menu. We're gonna try to get back to the game. Jesus, mother of God. Um, I've never seen this happen before. Not even close. Like, I've seen some weird glitches in Demon's Souls where, like, parts of the level, like, load up late or whatever. But I've never, ever seen a thing where you can fall through the floor because it hasn't been loaded yet. I've never seen that. Let alone consistently. Dear God. I'm gonna have I I've never even heard of this happening from anyone. And this is the digital version too, so it, it's not like this is like an old disc getting scratched. This is a digital version of the game. Yeah, my PS3 is is straining right now. It is putting in a hundred percent effort. Oh my god. This was not not the plan. I was like, I'm gonna run through world one. Let's let's kill Alan. Let's do this. Okay, any second now. Holy hell. It is using every okay. We're back. <laughs> so, all right, here's my thought. The game has had a lot of time to load. So hopefully that bridge exists. And if it doesn't, then I don't even know what. 
I'll try a different level. That's what I'll do. Yeah, I'm sure everything is normal now. What could possibly go wrong? It's not like I'll fall through the floor and die. I have a bad feeling about this. What the fuck? Okay. I think we're okay now. Dear God. Ow. Oh my God. All right, we got this. Everything is fine now. What the fuck? Oh no. It still hasn't loaded that area. fighting in nothingness. Oh, what? Alright. Wait, what? that fog wall is looking very strange. What? what? Alright. <laughs> Enjoy the money, bro. Thanks, money digger. I appreciate it, even though I don't have a donation button. <laughs> Oh god. Well, at least this area loaded. Ow. What am I doing? I should not be fighting him without killing the characters. Not in New Game Plus, at least. Oh my god. Ow. Alright, we got him. Didn't need to kill the archers. That's fine. So, yeah, this is just some typical Demon Souls action, you know? It's what you see every day. I'm wondering if the whole game is going to be this way now. It wasn't doing this until I went to New Game Plus. Maybe this is a pa maybe they patched the game and this is to make New Game Plus harder. It's my thought. Actually, yeah, this reminds me when I beat the game yesterday. Like the last cutscene of the game wasn't it like didn't the trigger for it didn't load. And it was really funky, but then I stopped playing after that. So maybe it is something to do with when I'm beating the game or something. Very weird. Just another day in bullet there. Yeah, you know, you see Tower Knight floating in space. Yeah. And when he dies, it sounds like a helicopter crashing. 
And then you have this loading screen that's probably my game freezing. Yeah, that's probably what's happening right now. Yeah, I think. So maybe uh, this is the bad ending. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's the end. Maybe the demon, you know, everyone's dead. It's over. I failed. See, this is what happens when you do the bad ending. This is a lesson to everyone. The bad ending may seem more beneficial. You get more souls, but it dooms everyone. Your selfishness will doom us all. So I'm guessing I could try resetting my PS3. It's like my only option at this point. I think. It doesn't look like we're getting it back. Oh. Quit game? Then restart game? Will I even be able to quit the game? Please wait. Oh! 